Hello, this is level two reformed English functional skills lesson two based on questions one and six in the Pearson at Excel exam paper. So we're referring to this paper. Question six, fact and opinion. Facts are objective. So you could say scientific, looking at something from a distance, and opinions are subjective of the person, um, and they often involve emotions. So here's a little quiz. You've got five um, things to answer. Um, statements to answer um, and write down fact or opinion. So pause the recording for a few minutes, fill in the answers and then you can play again to check. What is a fact? Based on an objective reality, and it can be verified by observation or research. So facts are correct and incorrect, or incorrect, and are not debatable. It's something that is known to be true or can be proven to be true. But don't get confused with the fact that blah, 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 that doesn't make it a fact. It's just a way to start a sentence, really. What is an opinion? It's a subjective belief or judgment. So like with facts, opinions are correct or incorrect, but they differ from person to person and they are debatable. A view or judgment formed about something and not necessarily based on fact or knowledge can also be a view or judgment formed about someone. It can also be a statement of advice by an expert. Opinions dressed as facts. Okay. Opinions and facts can be manipulated. Both can. Some news reports or magazine articles will state their opinions to make them look like facts. Now, here's an example. Recent statements made by the council confirm that most residents do not want a further expansion of the one way system of streets. That is what we call a statement that is expressed as fact. But where's the evidence? So the way to test this always is to check for where's the evidence, because if you don't have evidence, it cannot be a fact. There's an example of question six here, and um, it's multiple choice, so don't spend too much time on it, just one mark. And it asks which one of these statements is an opinion. It can also ask which one of these statements is a fact, but multiple choice. Not too difficult. Now, um, the type of language used. So you should try to look out for these types of language, these types of words used or types of language um, to identify if it's fact or opinion. So when you're looking for factual writing, it will use the text will use words like demonstrate, according, confirm, discovered, verifies. And when it's an opinion piece, um, you will see words like claims, argues, view, suspects, believes. Facts and opinions in arguments. When you want to put your case forward in an argument, you might want to use facts and opinions and but the facts will back up what you are saying so 
stating the facts to go with your opinion will encourage others in your way of thinking. This is also um, an important um, point to note in your writing exam that you want to convince the reader, right? Like the writer wants to convince the reader. When you are the writer, you want to convince the reader. So you want to use facts to go with your opinion to encourage the reader to believe what you are saying or to change their opinion, okay? Here's question six. Um, so, as I said, multiple choice and you have to decide which one is the correct one based on this text, okay? So, pause the recording for um, two minutes and then play again for the answer. There's the answer. Now, skimming and scanning. So we're going to look at question one here, but it's actually required for the whole paper. So what's really important in um, the reading exam is not to spend too much time reading the text so that you can sort of memorize everything that's in the text. The point really is to be able to skim and scan to get through the text to answer the questions. You have to trust yourself that you know enough from skimming and scanning to actually answer the exam properly. Okay, so what is skimming? It is gaining the main gist of a piece of text, yeah, from the pictures, the, head, the headlines and the subheadings. So you should always concentrate on the first paragraph and the last paragraph and then the first line of each paragraph. Scanning, on the other hand, is looking for specific information, keywords in a piece of text rather than reading the text in full. And there you can see what question one is asking you to do. Here's a little newspaper article where they've indicated skimming and scanning in case you don't know um, just to make it very easy for you to identify now we've got a little um, skimming and scanning test find an article from a magazine or a newspaper not too short so you can use the previous one but it's better to to use another one then give yourself three minutes to skim and scan it, write down what you remember, and then check your answer against the text. So you can pause the recording again and do this little exercise and come back to the recording when you're ready. Here is question one to give you an idea what question one will look like. So they say, according to text A, so there will be, it will ask you about one text, how many UK journeys were made by the following modes of transport? So there's no time, you've got two marks. Yeah, one mark and one mark. There's no time to read the whole article to answer for two marks. So you need to really apply the skimming and scanning to finding the answer here. So again, Pause the recording for two minutes and then play again and you will see the answer. There you go. Now, do you know after this lesson how to identify facts and opinions and how to skim and scan text? That's all you need to know from this lesson, so I hope that's all good.